It is so gorgeous right now. Oh my gosh. The sun just came out. It's been cloudy all day. And uh, I kind of ran a few errands because it was so cloudy. And now it's just absolutely beautiful here. <laughs> It's cold. It's actually just above freezing now and the snow up in the trees is starting to melt. So you can see some of the uh, water falling out of the trees. But yeah, beautiful day, beautiful. It's actually afternoon now. And I wanted to do this video about gifts for campers and nomads, uh, mostly kind of campers. I, I consider myself like a professional camper. <laughs> I guess I'm not super, uh, like I use the tent camp all the time and now that I have, you know, a hard shelled camper, I kind of, I don't know, am I a professional camper or a professional RVer? Anyway, here are some awesome gifts for nomads and RVers and campers and anyone who loves the outdoors, really. It's kind of a hodgepodge. I don't own all these things. Some of these things I have here, some I don't own. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to win this awesome power pack? This is a Jackery 240 and I'll be giving this exact Jackery away at the end of this video along with a 60 watt solar panel. Just wait till the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can get this Jackery for free. <laughs> Oh, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, I just wanted to show you some gifts for campers and RVers and nomads, just whatever. And this is more of like, not very specifically like here is the gift. It's kind of to give you some really good ideas uh, of what would be a great gift. <laughs> so, uh, I am going to try to make some kind of list below, but it's not definitive and it's not supposed to be this is the product. It's supposed to be like this kind of products are really great. I hope that's clear as mud. All right, so here are a few awesome gifts. So first off, I wanted to talk about a couple batteries. Batteries are really crucial and batteries for campers I think are really overlooked. Uh, even if you're just like a tent camper, uh, it's really great to have something to keep your phone charged and maybe a tablet or something. I've got four batteries here. I'm just going to go to smallest to biggest and give you an idea. Here's a really small battery. This is a 4000 milliamp battery. It's really small. I don't even think it charges my phone one complete time. I think it might only charge it at most 75%. I impulse bought this at Walmart because it was so thin and small I figured I would put it in my purse. Um, I used it for quite a while and now I don't really use it that much anymore. It just doesn't have a lot of power and it doesn't quick charge. Which brings me to the next battery. Alright, this is a pretty hefty battery actually. It's a pretty good size. I bought this battery specifically because it had uh, Qualcomm 3.0 quick charge. Uh, most phones, well, I won't say most, a lot of phones now have the quick charge and it's very, very handy. Uh, I use this battery a lot. This is probably the battery I use more than any other and it's really, really great for uh, hiking uh, to keep your battery charged. I use an app called uh, All Trails and I don't want to run out of power, you know, somewhere halfway through a long hike. 
Uh, this is a good battery. I like it. It's got a lot of power. This thing has 74.3 watt hours, which is like 20,000 milliamp. Uh, the one thing about this battery that really irked me was that the charger was sold separately. So the battery actually has a quick charge as well. So this will quick charge and the quick charger was sold separately. It kind of, yeah, that bugged me. Now the next one I wanted to show, of course, you've seen many times before. <laughs> There's two Jackeries here. I have a Jackery 240 and a Jackery 500. Uh, these are awesome batteries. These are really nice. I just did a video about my Jackery 500 and I got a bunch of comments about, oh, everyone is really positive about this battery. Nobody's ever saying anything negative. And I think the reason is, is because it does exactly what it was designed to do extremely well. Now, it might be too much battery for you, or it might not be enough, but the fact is, it's an extremely well-designed battery that does exactly what it was designed to do. The 240 will keep most of your electronics charged. Now, Jackery sent this 240 to me along with a 60 watt solar panel. And uh, yeah, I don't really need it. And so I want to give this exact battery away along with the 60 watt solar panel uh, to one of you. So stick around, I'll tell you how that works. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the 500. The 500 is an awesome battery. That thing will keep everything charged, keep your drone, your, uh, your phone, uh, your tablet. The worst thing that I can say about all of these batteries is that they're all lithium. And lithium does have a temperature limitation. So you cannot use a lithium battery below freezing or above roughly about 100 degrees. Uh, that's for all lithium. Thankfully, these Jackeries actually have a temperature gauge inside and they will shut themselves down. I don't know about these other two batteries, but I'm very careful with them. Also, I just want to mention that Jackery is having a very special one-day only sale on the Jackery 240 on December 14th. Uh, you can get this Jackery for $179. This is the deal of the century or day or month. You know, whatever time frame works for you. <laughs> Another great uh, gift would be uh, a tablet, an iPad or an Android tablet. I have an Android tablet here and I love it. I watch movies on it. I have Amazon Prime and I download movies on Wi-Fi and then I can watch them in my camper at night. Another idea would be either an Amazon Prime membership or a Netflix or Hulu membership. All right, getting into something more camper specific, I think, uh, how about a knife? A good knife, every camper needs a really good knife. This is just a small one I had bought at a drugstore or something along the coast when I had lost my other one. It's very sharp, it's just a single blade. Yeah, this is a really great little one. Uh, you might need a bigger one. I have this other knife that my friend uh, Randy gave me and I love it, it's really nice. It's got this nice little uh, holster that uh, you can hook onto your belt. So that's really handy. I have a lot of friends who actually keep a knife on their belt all the time when they're out camping. Um, so something like this that you can put on your belt. Uh, any camper would really appreciate that, I believe. I feel like I'm getting a little heavy into electronics. I didn't mean to. One thing, though, that I do a lot on the road is listen to podcasts. And I have a couple of Bluetooth speakers to do that. The first one I bought was this little JBL speaker. This JBL speaker is awesome. Uh, it is perfect for podcasts. 
I have a much bigger one too. This 808 one. I got this at Walmart. It was fairly inexpensive. I think it was around $50. Uh, I actually use this when I'm watching movies. <laughs> so I Bluetooth this to my tablet and then I watch a movie and the sound coming out of this for movies and music is absolutely awesome. Uh, I bought this specific model because it had an auxiliary in. I don't know if you can see that little extra plug there. It's an auxiliary in. This allows me to plug things that aren't Bluetooth into it. And I highly recommend if you buy a Bluetooth speaker to get the aux in if you have, say, an old iPod that doesn't have Bluetooth or just, you know, some other thing. If you have like, I don't know, if you have an old 8-track tape player something like that you might want to plug it into here yeah it'll play eight track tapes or something <laughs> another thing i think a good hiker camper would appreciate is a day pack uh, this was a really cheap day pack i bought at walmart um, it's a it's been a good pack i've had it for about three years uh, my carvel a couple years ago uh, ate a hole in it the one thing about this particular pack that's not so good is that um, it traps all of your sweat against your back. So when I'm hiking, I take off my pack and my back is just wet with sweat. Um, there are some really good day packs out there. Uh, REI is awesome. Actually, just a gift certificate at REI, well, I would love that. Those nylon kind of ones that don't trap all the moisture on your back, I think yeah, that would probably be better. Which brings me to the next hiker thing, bear spray. I always carry bear spray in my pack. This one is great because it actually has this little case with a little thing to put on your belt. So you can just strap it on your belt or you can put it on your hiking pack if your pack has a little thing on it. Uh, my mother actually bought this for me for Christmas two years ago, and I still have it because haven't met any bears yet. <laughs> it is so beautiful. I'm not hiking or walking around. I've just been walking in circles around my camper because it's just so beautiful. <laughs> it's really gorgeous out here. If you've watched very many of my videos, you know that the vast majority of time I'm camped out on BLM land or National Forest land like I am today. And there's always downed trees and limbs for campfires just laying on the ground. But that brings me to my next gift. One thing I would love to have is a really good folding saw. There's some really good folding saws out there. And yeah, I actually have a hatchet. And the hatchet is really good. I would prefer to buy the saw. So I'm trying to throw a bunch of ideas out there that are lots of different price points, um, lots of different types of things. Uh, one of the things that I use often is All Trails, the All Trails app. It is a really good app. There's several hiking apps out there. And the great thing about the hiking apps is that uh, regardless whether you have a Pixel, you know, a Google Android phone or an iPhone, there are lots of hiking apps. And the great thing about being a gift giver is that you can simply buy a, uh, a gift certificate. You can buy it online and send it via email. Uh, so Google Play and the uh, Apple Store yeah, you can just send a gift certificate for, you know, $30. That's what the All Trails app costs every year. It's $30 a year. Uh, the sun is starting to go down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you gotta check out the sky right here. <laughs> Another great gift for a camper or hiker would be one of the satellite uh, emergency beacon devices. So there's two really popular ones. One is uh, the Garmin InReach, and the other one is called a Spot. They're out to Spot Generation 3 now, maybe they're 4, I don't know. Uh, both of these devices 
have uh, an emergency button on them, and when you press it, uh, well, they will send out a helicopter or some kind of emergency rescue for you. So you don't want to take those lightly, but if you do a lot of hiking in places where there are no cell phone service, uh, a lot of backcountry hiking, uh, that is a great gift. They're a little pricey. They go somewhere between $200 and $300 and more. I do think I'm going to get a Garmin in reach at some point. Uh, I do do a lot of hiking where there is no cell service and if I was to fall and get injured I wouldn't have uh, any way of contacting help. I'd be at the mercy of someone just happening upon me, which is not a good feeling. So. Uh, yeah, Garmin in reach or a spot. Okay, the number one thing on every camper's wish list is always going to be a five-gallon bucket. It, you could just put all sorts of stuff in there. You could put your firewood in there. You could put your tools in there. And you could poop in it. Yes, a poop bucket. Every single camper needs one of those. <laughs> oh my gosh, I probably just lost all my viewers. Check stats right now. <laughs> Oh, another thing I almost forgot, <laughs> a really good flashlight or a headlamp. Uh, I can't find my headlamp right now, but a really good headlamp is so crucial when you're camping out in the middle of nowhere or a really good flashlight. Yeah, uh, I did have a 400 lumen headlamp that I loved. I used it for hiking in caves. Uh, in the 400 lumens was really really helpful when I was filming in there so um, yeah good headlamp good flashlight I wish I had one to show you I can't find my stuff <laughs> one great thing about being out in the snow <laughs> in the winter is you don't have to buy ice or put anything in the refrigerator I have a refrigerator right there <laughs> Jackery sent me this 240. I don't need it because I already have a Jackery 500, which I'm keeping. It is awesome. I love it. Uh, it is incredibly handy. But since I don't need this one, uh, and they sent me a 60 watt solar panel, that 60 watt solar panel is awesome. It's cool. Very well designed. Um, I want to send these to one of you. Uh, also, this is not sponsored by Jackery. Um, I haven't asked or told Jackery about this, so this is just me to you. I'm going to pay for shipping. Uh, as I said, Jackery sent these to me for free, uh, but I am going to ship these exact units to you uh, out of my own pocket. So uh, there is going to be a link below for the giveaway. Uh, it should be very self-explanatory. Uh, right at the top of the description. Go ahead and go down to the description. Uh, I might just make it the first pinned comment too, so you don't miss it. So, as I mentioned, Jackery's gonna have a one-day sale on December 14th. Uh, $179. This is a great deal. If, by some miracle, you do not know what a Jackery is or why you need one, check out my previous video. I talk all about that. And subscribe because I'm a couple months behind on editing and uh, I really, really want you to watch these videos from uh, Mesa Verde National Park and from uh, Canyons of the Ancients National Park. So. Uh, subscribe so you can watch these because these videos coming up are going to be really cool. Check you later! Woohoo! Win a Jackery! Win a Jackery! Win a Jackery! <laughs>